Hello students, uh, as you, uh, you told me that you are facing problem with the uh, uh, mirror problems. So in this video, uh, I'm going to do uh, one mirror problem and I hope you are ready with your pen and book and your notebook. You follow me step by step and wherever uh, you need to pause, please pause the video and do your own. Try to do after this video, try to do on your own so that once you know how to do it, you will be able to uh, solve any problem regarding the mirror formula. So I hope you are ready. Please keep your book in hand, get ready and follow me. Try to follow as much as possible. So let's. So students, uh, let's do the next uh, <clears throat> problem that is question number 15. So if you have a book, please open your book and let's read the question together. So it says, the question says, an object of size 7 cm is placed at 27 cm in front of a concave mirror of focal length 18 cm. At what distance from the mirror should a screen be placed so that a sharp focus image can be obtained? Find the size and nature of the image. So <clears throat> we are given, we have to find out where the image will be situated since the sharp image wherever it will be situated there you will have to place the screen so i have always told you and again i'll say that first and foremost you should know where is your what is your mirror so here you see in the question it is given a concave mirror so it is very good habit if you draw a concave mirror rough concave mirror or any mirror uh, that is given in your question just draw roughly so that it will be easy for us to do so this is a rough concave mirror and in the concave mirror as you know the center of curvature suppose I have assumed here and the pole is here P and in between the center of curvature and the pole there is a principal focus F so this is our mirror so let's see what what is given to us so we'll read the question and we'll know what is given to us an object of size 7 centimeter is placed okay what is the size of the object that means whatever object we have placed here it may be anywhere but the object size the height of the object length of the object or size of the object is given as 7 centimeter so given first let's take given size of the object size of the object what is the size of the object we take it as h we take it as the alphabet H. So size of the object is given as 7 cm. Please ignore the 7.0 is given, ignore the 0. <clears throat> so now you have to see the sign convention. Since the object is placed here, the object is placed here. So what will happen? Suppose your object is somewhere here. So you see that according to the sign convention, anything above the principal axis in the positive y direction in the positive y direction it will be a positive value so it will be a positive value okay next now let's see what is given next is placed at a distance at 27 centimeter in front of a concave mirror that means that object is placed at a distance 27 centimeter it is placed at a distance 27 centimeter in front of the mirror so in front of the mirror it is placed at 27 centimeter so let's take the object distance object distance is given object distance is given at how much we take it as u that is 27 centimeter now will it be a plus or a minus according to the sign convention let's see so see since the object will be placed in the left side of the mirror or object will be placed here so what will happen is that the object it will be in the negative y direction the direction or the object distance will be from the mirror it will be in the left side in the negative x axis so it will be a negative value so i'll have to give here minus 27 centimeter then what else is given in front of a concave mirror of focal length 18 centimeter again focal length is given focal length is again provided to us z t h focal length f is how much 18 centimeter 18 centimeter so now let's see whether f will be a positive or a negative so focal length is a distance from the focus to the pole so this is my f so the distance it will be again you see it will be in the left hand side from the mirror 
it will be in the negative x direction so since it is in the negative x direction once again it will be minus so that is all that is provided to us so what we need we need the distance of the object so uh, i'm sorry of the image so where we'll get the image so image distance image distance will be what we don't know image distance image distance we take as v v we don't know so we'll give it as question mark we'll give it as question mark now let's use the very important uh, mirror formula so using using mirror formula mirror formula what is the mirror formula i think you remember 1 by v plus 1 by u equals 1 by f or inverse of v plus inverse of u it is equal to the inverse of f so let us put the values one by one so one by v one by v we don't know what is the value of v it is question mark so we'll keep it as v plus one by u one by u u is minus 27 centimeters so it is minus 27 then we have one by f that is one by minus 18 so this is our equation so from here we'll have to find what is the value of v so 1 by v so we'll do step by step my uh, plus times minus or if you multiply plus and minus plus minus it will give you minus 1 by 27 equals and even this side if you <coughs> uh, here there is nothing that means there is a plus plus and minus it will be a minus 18 so next i'll take this digit to the right hand side i'll take 1 by 27 to the right hand side since it is minus here if we if i take it that side it will be a positive value but here it is this side is negative value so negative value i'll put after the positive value that means first i'll write this 1 by 27 in the right hand side so 1 by v if you take this negative value it will be a positive one so i'll write 1 by 27 positive then minus what is there 1 by 18 now you have to take the lcm between 27 and 18 so 1 by v equals if you take the lcm so i'll take the lcm 27 and 18 so both are divisible by 3 3 9 times is 27 3 6 times again it is divisible by 3 3 3 times is 9 3 <coughs> 2 times is 6 so our lcm will be so our lcm will be 3 into 3 into 3 into 2 that means how much 3 into 3 is 9 9 into 3 is 27 27 times 2 is 54 so our lcm is 54 so now we'll have to see with the denominator and our lcm so 27 how many times is 54 so if you do the multiplication 27 2 times you'll get as 54 27 2 times is 54 minus again you'll have to see with 18 and the our lcm with the denominator and the lcm so 18 how many times is 54 18 3 times is 54 so 27 2 times is 54 and 18 3 times is 54 so 1 by v now 2 minus 3 since the negative value is more since the negative value is greater so it will be a negative value so 1 minus 1 by 54 so we are not done here because we don't need uh, 1 by v we have we need only v so we'll have to inverse each once or we'll have to take the reciprocal that means we'll have to take the v up and bring the 1 to the denominator that means v by 1 but if the denominator is 1 we don't need to write so minus again here also 54 by 1 okay 54 by 1 centimeter now I'll not write the 1 now here you see the sign convention sign it is coming as negative it is coming as negative means where it is it is in front of the mirror okay it is coming in the negative x direction so it is in front of the mirror and if it is in front of the mirror that means it is a real image now we got that it is a real image as well as it is placed at 54 centimeter now we'll have to find a size now to find the size now to find the size we'll use the formula for magnification i hope you remember the formula for magnification m equals h this by h equals minus v by u all right h this is the size of the size of the image is this is the size of the image h is already given so let's uh, complete it i'll do it this side <coughs> so <coughs> i'll not take m i'll take h this by h h is here h is given seven centimeters so h is seven then 
equals minus what is v v we just got minus 54 then uh, by u u we got we have us minus 27 right so if we can uh, if we divide minus 27 minus 54 you'll get as 2 times 27 2 times is 54 we can cancel the negative values so is this equal so we have minus one more minus is there minus 2 into if we take this 7 in the right side here it is division if we take that side it will be a multiplication so is this will be equals to minus 14 centimeter now you must wonder that what this minus means it means that our image our image is where it is below the principal axis it is in the downward direction how i'll simply draw a rough diagram so that you understand it properly i'll draw a rough diagram here below i'll draw a rough diagram of course first you'll have to write you'll have to write that the image or the screen sorry the screen should be placed be placed at how much the image value at 54 centimeter in front of the mirror so what about the image the image is image is real see we got here minus 54 but we are not giving here minus because this minus gives only the direction or it, it is just simply for the sign convention it is not this minus it is it is uh, it means that the image is in the left side so it is just for sign convention the image is real and 14 centimeter now again we are not giving here minus we don't give here minus because minus shows only the that it is in the downward direction of the principal axis and 14 centimeter in size so this is our answer but you might be wondering how it comes minus 14 as well as minus 54 how we'll place a screen so i'll simply draw a rough diagram for you so that it helps you so this is my very rough diagram of the mirror and you'll get here the pole then i'll draw here the center of curvature here is the focus so our focal length is about 18 centimeter our focal length is about 18 centimeter and if we double it we'll get that it is it will be 36 centimeter but so where will we, uh, we don't need the 36 centimeter because for now our object should be placed where our object should be placed you'll see here that our object should be placed at 27 centimeter our object our object should be placed at 27 centimeter that means here if it is 36 somewhere in the middle somewhere in the middle so i'll place here this is my object so i'll just simply name it as a and b so if i send a parallel if i send a parallel ray from the top or from the head so or from the um, point a of the object so if you send a parallel ray it will come back through the focus so uh, since i am drawing it very roughly so my lines may not be straight so i hope you uh, bear with me then next i'll send another one through the center of curvature i am sending one another one through the oh sorry i'm sorry through the focus i'm sending one through the focus if you send one through the focus it will come back parallel it will come back parallel so since both the rays originated from a and here they are they both are intersecting at a so uh, here so you'll get here another a that is a this that is the image and the b from the point b if you send a straight ray it will come back in the same direction so you'll get here one image that is a this uh, b a this and b this inverted image so see the image will be formed here and you will have to place one screen you will have to place one screen here in order to view the in order to see the image you will have to place one screen and that is what the question says that where the screen should be placed the screen should be placed at how much 54 centimeter and also since the size is 
below size is below see below the principal axis so the uh, the size will come as negative see the value is coming as minus 14 centimeter and since the distance is also in the negative x axis it will come as minus 54 centimeter so i hope you understand and if you have any doubt uh, i welcome you to ask me any questions so if you have any problem please don't hesitate to ask me